Hi and welcome to another Lightworks version 14 tutorial. I'm Dequarius and this is my brother Max. And today we're going to be teaching you guys how to clone. And that's where you replicate yourself or an image. Let's get started. Hi guys, I'm Tara. And here in Lightworks, I'm going to show you guys how to clone an image. So we're here in Edit. And you can see that I've already imported the video and I'm going to double click on it and the screen is going to pop up. We're going to use these three diamonds to crop the video. Uh, yes, it's one video. Uh, Max is on the left side but uh, he switches over just like the intro to the left side where he is where he's going to talk where he's talking on this side and over here he's going to switch over and listen as Aquarius as you saw on the intro so I'm going to use these markers to crop one side of it so we can have just Max speaking on this side in the beginning so we're going to click this first diamond marker and as you can see the cursor turned blue and uh, Lightworks is acting up today so I'm just going to scroll to where I want it to end back here yep and I'm going to put another marker um, this side this is the ending marker and as you can see it just has this side of the video in so I'm going to use this and so to finally drag it onto the timeline we're going to use this button which is going to insert it into the timeline here just the cropped part just the part between the two blue uh, diamonds that we want so here it is and and it is on here and over here it should pop up Max's portion and as you can see he is on the right side and so we are going to do it the same method to the other side where Max is standing over here in the intro as Aquarius listening and so we're using this button in the middle to clear it and we're going to go to the other side and as you can see here he's on the other side he switched over to the other side in the video and I'm going to put another marker and I'm going to drag it until we get to the end and put one second it's loading uh, another marker and we're going to insert it in using this button again so as you can see it is overlapping it and one second that And I've sectioned these two portions off so they're not touching each other so you can get a good picture. And what I did here, I already did for you guys, but I double, I right clicked on this side and it says sequence one at the top and I went under sequence commands, I went under the tracks and add video. This should add um, video two which will allow you guys to line up the video so it's under each other. So I'm going to just line this one up here and here so it's on video 2 and then we're having Max and we're having on this side we're going to drag it, drag it back to the front and as you can see here it is lined up on each other and it shows this on sequence one right here 
And now we're going to mash the two videos together. So we're going under the video effects. And we're going to add a effect in uh, 3D DVE. We're going to click on. And here we are. And as you can see here, it should have pulled up a light blue box, which signifies that it is an effect. And we're going to go under to crop, and we're going to enlarge it. And these all do different things, but all we really need is the right one. And we're going to use this right to mash these two videos together. And we're going to use the, this right to mash these two videos together. So as you see, sorry it's loading, uh, as you see when you scroll, it slowly adds in Max's video. And we're going to move it right over here because Max uh, gestures over here to Aquarius and we don't want to cut off his hand, um, to say the least. And so, as you can see, uh, Max has been cloned. So we're going back into edit. Well, thank you guys for watching, and have fun cloning. Bye!